Hi and welcome my dear students of class 9th. This is the video for unit 1 which is introduction to artificial intelligence. In this video we have covered session 1 that is excite. Let's move on to quick glimpse of this video. Inside the video we have covered all these 12 topics. Introduction to artificial intelligence. What is artificial intelligence? Definition Footprints of Artificial Intelligence History of Artificial Intelligence Human Intelligence Difference between Human Intelligence and Artificial Intelligence Strong Artificial Intelligence Weak Artificial Intelligence Advantages and Disadvantages of Artificial Intelligence Application of Artificial Intelligence Three Domains of Artificial Intelligence that are Data natural language processing and computer vision. Let's move on to the first topic that is introduction. The artificial intelligence is a term which fascinates people all around the world. You must have heard big data, robotics, artificial intelligence, machine learning terms in your daily life. AI has become a part of our daily lives. Some common examples of artificial intelligence which are around you are voice searches, Facebook facial recognition, predictive Google searches. Now the question arises, what is artificial intelligence? So if I talk about the three phrases that are field of study, form of intelligence and type of technology, then this all will become artificial intelligence. That means it is a type of technology and a field of study which makes a machine intelligent. Now let's come on to the definition of the artificial intelligence. So artificial intelligence is a technology and a branch of computer science that deals with the study and development of intelligent machines and softwares. That means we train a machine to learn, think, decide and act as a human would. Footprints of artificial intelligence. This artificial intelligence has his foot in all the subjects like mathematics, philosophy, computer science, psychology, sociology, biology and neuroscience. History of Artificial Intelligence in year 1956 in the college Dartmouth. There were four brilliant brains, John McCarthy, Marvin Minsky, Nathaniel Rochester, Claude Shannon. These people sat together to think about a machine which can behave like human. Among these people, John McCarthy coined the term artificial intelligence. Human intelligence. We learn by our experience. So, if a person is standing near the candle, the person first gathered the information, okay, if the hand is coming towards the candle, the hand can burn. Then the person will store the information inside the brain. Whenever in the future the person will look onto a burning candle, the person will retrieve the information OK. At that time when I place my finger near the candle, my finger got burnt. So, the person will analyze that particular information. Then person will decide, yes, I shall go towards it or I shall not go towards that. Then the person will take the action accordingly. So these are the six steps. How human gathers the information, stores inside the mind, retrieves the information, then analyze that particular information, then makes an environment for decision making and the action is taken. 
Now, here comes the difference between artificial intelligence and human intelligence. Artificial intelligence is artificial in nature. Decisions based on models. Data fed into machines for decision making. Free from bias. Cannot do multitasking. Can perform programmed actions. But human intelligence is realistic in nature. Decisions based on experience and cognition. Experience is required for decision making. Can be biased in nature. Can do multitasking. Can perform actions according to the situation and experiences. Strong Artificial Intelligence it is the wide artificial intelligence, capability of understanding a vast scope of activities with generalized human cognition abilities. Able to find a solution without human intervention. The strong artificial intelligence is what a human can do. If the person is feeling hot, the machine will automatically switch on the fan. If the person is feeling cold, the machine will automatically on the blower. So if these kind of things can be implemented for a machine, then it will become a strong artificial intelligence. These kind of machines are not realistic till date. You must have seen strong AI enabled machines in movies only. Now let's talk about the weak artificial intelligence. Till date we have successfully made the machines which are weak artificially intelligent machines. This is the narrow artificial intelligence. These are designed to perform the specific tasks. They are unable to find a solution without human intervention. You must have heard or seen artificial intelligence Alexa. Let's move on to the advantages and disadvantages of artificial intelligence. So let's talk about the advantages first. Think logically without bias, oblique emotions. Machines would not be affected by hostile environment even while digging out the mines. Replace human from laborious tasks. Low error rate than human if coded properly and the point which is to be noted is if coded properly. High precision, speed and accuracy. Organize and manage records. Now let's talk about the disadvantages. It is questionable whether it is ethically or morally right to have robots and androids as a gift of nature should not be recreated. Robots can lead to unemployment. They don't have any common sense. They cannot work outside of what they are programmed for. AI can cost a lot of money and time to build, rebuild and repair. So at the top left corner, of your mobile screen, there is a self-driving car displayed. There is no driver available, but by using sensors, cameras, radar and artificial intelligence, this car is able to drive by itself. There is a vast amount of data fed inside the machine. This includes the neural network too. Now the second image 
at the right corner is of facial recognition system. On behalf of patterns, textures and shapes, this machine makes a comparison between people and then it can be used as a biometric machine. Now, the third image in the middle of the screen is of robot assisted surgery. The data from past operations are saved inside the machine. Then the real time points are made. Now at the left top corner there is a chatbot which simulates a human conversation. Google Assistant and Amazon Alexa are the examples of chatbot. Messaging apps such as Facebook Messenger and WeChat is enabled with chatbot. Individual organization, application and websites are also having chatbot facilities nowadays. The last image is of Amazon Alexa which is used to make calls, send messages, set reminders, take notes, recognize music, check calendars and much more. So this is our digital assistant. Now we will talk about the three domains of artificial intelligence. The first domain is data, second is computer vision and third is natural language processing. Now we will talk about the data first. Data is the raw facts, is the core of any artificial intelligence systems. Artificial intelligence can learn patterns in the data to automate tasks for a variety of business benefits. You can look into the example which is shown in this figure. This is of Amazon keyword search, which is predictive. Computer vision is the process of capturing, processing, analyzing real world images and video to allow machine to extract meaningful information from physical world. The example which I have taken here is com medical computer vision. Natural language processing. As you can see in the image, this system is having ability to understand human language as it is spoken. It will give you the search according to the voice being inserted inside the system. Look into the image. If the person is searching for dresses, it is showing all the dresses. Red dresses, then all the red dresses. Red dresses under $100, then all the dresses, the red dresses under $100. That's all in this Excite session. I'll see you soon in the next video for the session Relate. Before that, I request you all to play all those three games which are listed in the message. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.